So here's something interesting. Today, I want us to unpack the data and the numbers behind Umjolo in South Africa. And like, I'm being so serious. We're going to go through the marriages and divorces reports from 2022, which was compiled by Stats South Africa. We're going to be looking into the marriage trends, the age gaps between partners, cultural variations, divorce rates, and even some of the possible reasons as to the shifts that we're seeing in the numbers. The first thing that comes out from this report is that the number of civil marriages in South Africa has been dropping. There's been a significant decline of almost 30% since 2013, 30%. And even when you consider COVID restrictions, which put a dampener on gatherings in 2020 and 21, the overall trend is clear, it's down. Interestingly, the report shows a seasonal trend with December being the most popular month to get married, followed by a significant dip in January. So if your partner is disappearing in December, you know what's going on. Now, when looking at the age differences between partners, there's a new trend that's making the rounds. But before we continue, maybe comment below on the age gap between you and your partner. And let's see if some of these numbers actually relate to your relationship or union. So while it's common for husbands to be older, there's a growing trend of wives now being older than their spouses. In 2022, over 16% of marriages had the wife as the older partner. Interestingly, the most common age for grooms was 31, while brides peaked at 30. So it seems like that's the perfect age. I don't know. Here's an even more surprising stat. Brides between the age of 45 and 49 actually outnumbered those between 20 and 24 in 2022. This could be due to a number of factors, such as people pursuing careers or education before settling down. But for both genders, the 30 to 34 age group remained the most popular for tying the knot. While civil marriages are declining, there's a different story for customary marriages and civil unions. Customary marriages, particularly in rural provinces like, let's say, a Limpopo, KwaZulu-Natal, Eastern Cape and Bumalanga, saw a jump of almost 60% from 2021 to 2022. You guys are just doing it differently or you're doing it the right way. I don't know. Let us know in the comments. Civil unions are also experiencing a crazy rise with Gauteng and the Western Cape leading the pack. This could be due to factors like same-sex couples seeking legal recognition for their partnerships or simply a preference for a less formal union compared to the traditional marriage. Who knows, maybe you can tell us. Unfortunately, divorces are also increasing. There was a 10.9% jump in 2022 compared to the previous years. The most common age for divorces, men was 42 and women was 39. This has a significant impact on children. Over half of all divorces involved minor children, affecting nearly 19,000 kids in South Africa under the age of 18 in 2022. The data suggests that interracial couples are more likely to have children involved in their divorces. I found that really interesting. The report also points out that a significant portion of both husbands and wives were unemployed or economically inactive at the time of the divorce, hinting that financial strain in relationships is a possible contributing factor to many divorces. So those are some of the key takeaways from South Africa's marriage and divorce trends. It's a fascinating mix of tradition, changing demographics, social shifts, and also economic realities that are experienced in South Africa. What are your thoughts around some of these trends? Let us know in the comments below. And also maybe check out one of these other videos for more data-driven inside stories. I'll see you in the next one.